All right, guys, um, let's get started with our MTSS meeting this week. Um, thanks for adding to the agenda leading up to today. Um, we'll make sure we hit everything um, so we can talk about people's concerns. Um, so starting off with our positives, uh, our ELA friendship unit is off to a great start and the kids seem to love Dirk the Protector as always. So good job ELA department. Um, and then the other positive is one that I had put on there. Uh, yesterday in math class we had um, a student, John, he earned a T and an I sticker um, for showing some amazing patience um, and compassion for a student in his group um, who was very frustrated. Um, and then the other one is our student of the month write up. Um, Bethany added for us and sent to Laurie for our newsletter and it was a great write up. So thank you Bethany for taking the Very time well. to do that. So any other positives? I think I can just piggyback off of what you said about John. I think he displays those um, at all times. So perhaps that's somebody that we want to keep in the back of our mind for awards assemblies um, and things like that. Maybe even a student of the month. I agree. All right, uh, taking a look at our old business section there, um, we had been collecting data for Abby. Um, so if you click on the link there, you'll be able to get to her data collection form. Um, and then Bethany, if you just wanna share some of the things in ELA that have been successful for her. Um, yes, so I, uh, she has come to me to ask to have uh, AR quizzes printed, um, which is fine. I have made, given her the option of reading them aloud to her, but she has chosen to not take that. Um, which I think I might push a little more um, in the future when she finishes another novel, uh, and I think that might help her. But she has been working with Rebecca. It's been kind of um, you know hit or miss with snow day. We had a snow day, and she was supposed to meet with Rebecca that day. But um, Rebecca says that she enjoys working with her, um, and that she's finding success through Alexia. Um, she said that she is that Abby does Lexia like she's supposed to. Like, you know, she, she actually does it at home. Um, so I'm hoping that we see, I haven't seen any changes as far as her scores on quizzes, but I do think that her comprehension is getting better. Um, so I, you know, continue to collect data. I'll talk more with Rebecca when she's met with her a couple more times. Okay. Um, excellent. I'll just fill those notes in then um, on our agenda and we'll check in with, um, Rebecca Rogers then when next time she can join us. Anything else for Abby? You just might want to use the audio book with her as an option. That might be something else to help her with her comprehension. Yes, it definitely does help. Um, she, she's a very quiet student, but she did find, because um, Hemingway, the Hemingway app doesn't work anymore, you have to pay mm -hmm. for it. She said, I found one. It's called Paper Reader. Did you find it? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So I was like giving her props. I was like, Abby found this one, it's paper, it's really cool, and she, you know, she kind of liked that, so. Good. All right, next on um, our old business is our tier one collection for Anna. Um, so if you click on the link in the agenda there, it will take you to a chart, and each of you has your own page on the chart, and this came from our um, initial data collection for Anna. So we wanted to take a look at um, four specific behaviors and keep track of the frequency of when those things are happening. So you'll use a tally system to track the frequencies of when you're seeing um, that she's getting text read aloud to her, when she's receiving modified tests, um, the number of times she's going to the bathroom or getting a drink in your class, um, so that we can take a look at those frequencies, see maybe there's certain parts of her day where she might be using avoidance, um, but we also want to track some of the supports we're going to put in place for her as well. Should the tally marks be, like the text read aloud, should that be teacher and student? Like Any, if I read to her, that's a check mark, but if we do a partner read, that's read, that's a check mark then too? Anytime she has access to being able to listen okay. to the text is fine. So if it is another student, that's, that counts as a read aloud. Um, just anything that's not her sitting independently with text. And do you care if this is done in paper format or in computer format, depending on where we're at? That is up to you guys. Um, I have printed versions. If it's easier for you to just keep it on your clipboard and tally in class, um, and then I can put it in digitally. Or if you're comfortable just using the link and find your page, you can put it in digitally there. Thank you for doing that. Um, and then also with Anna, she's going to start with um, 
Rebecca Rogers also on her Lexia then. Then if we skip to the new business section, um, just a couple updates um, from things that have been going on this week. Um, Elizabeth uh, will be exited from special education. So she hasn't been coming to my quest um, since October, I believe. Uh, she's been going to Mr. Folks's. And then um, through a meeting with the parents, um, as per their request, she will be exited. And then uh, Marissa, uh, we know we've had ongoing um, conversations and concerns there, especially since our parent conferences in November with the family. Um, so she is speaking regularly with um, guidance with Mrs. Schlatter and working closely um, with her mother there. Uh, she was referred to SAP um, for concerns just with her attendance as well as some expressed anxiety with coming to school. Um, and then I will also be implementing a student notebook template in math that I have used to support other students um, to help relieve some of her anxiety and overwhelmed feelings in regards to math. So keep, keep your eye out for uh, her RRs coming up this spring and we'll try to address some more of those things on the special ed side. Is she be receiving counseling services? Um, she doesn't, she not, doesn't have medical assistance, which is what progressive um, needs, um, but she is going through the SAP process, so they should be able to connect her with outside counseling resources when she's going through that. And the parents signed off already on mm -hmm. SAP? Great. Mm -hmm. A mom struggles with getting her out of bed in the morning and getting her to school, and she missed some days because she really was sick, but then right. that kind of propelled her being behind, which caused the anxiety, and then her coming back to school, she's always at the nurse, like, mm -hmm. by in mid-morning and then she's going home and mom's picking her up and the cycle's getting worse so okay. historically will this continue it didn't happen it last year i didn't see this from her last okay. year um, i know there are some kids that we see this as a continued thing but i didn't see this behavior right. from her last year she didn't have this she's always quiet and kind of you know not very a big social butterfly um keeps to herself so that's typical of her um but she normally came to school regularly last year Um, any other new business that we need to discuss? <coughs> um, so then again, our action plan, uh, we'll check in on Anna's data collection on the 30th. And then for next week, um, when we meet just within our team, we will need to review our tier one status for Hunter. So we'll take a look at um, our background information form and then decide where we wanna go next with him. Awesome. Thank you for taking notes, Brian.